Well, the Senate pushes ahead on a $36.5 billion hurricane relief package for Puerto Rico. It's been a month since Hurricane Maria hit the island, but most areas still without power. The relief package would replenish emergency disaster accounts. It would also provide $16 billion to the federal flood insurance program to pay for Harvey related claims. The Senate could take a final vote on the measure tomorrow. It could then go to President Trump. And meantime, local residents are doing what they can for family members living in Puerto Rico. Uh, Fox News Deidre Duke spoke to one Forsyth County family now turning to the public for help with unexpected shipping costs that threaten their hurricane relief efforts. A local family launched a huge donation drive to collect about 100 boxes worth of supplies for hurricane victims in Puerto Rico. Well, they had a snag while trying to ship these items out, and so now they're turning to the public for help. Two to three weeks of food in these boxes. They have rice, um, canned food, milk, canned milk. These boxes of donated food, water, household supplies and hygiene items, part of the huge shipment that was scheduled to be delivered to families in hurricane ravaged Puerto Rico on Saturday. They lost electric, they lost power, they lost water. Still stacked in Ada Cario's garage. The Forsyth County woman and her sister, Sylvia Velez, spearheading the massive donation drive to help their parents and other family members in the northwest coastal town of Isabella. And they received an overwhelming response from area residents donating hundreds of items to the hurricane relief effort. It's a shame that we've done all this work to help about 25 families and now we're here back to square one. You know, um, it's, it's very disappointing. Very disappointing. Back to square one after learning last weekend that the original price they were quoted wouldn't cover the entire shipment of about a hundred boxes and several generators. We checked a couple of companies and it's going to cost like eight thousand dollars to ship all of this and um, it's just too much. I mean, you know, we don't know what to do. We're, we're kind of stuck now, you know, we're out of ideas and out of options. So the family is making a public appeal and hopes the same community that answered their call for aid will now help ensure hurricane victims get the help they so desperately need by donating money for the items to be shipped to Puerto Rico. They set up you caring and GoFundMe pages to help collect funds.